The mine's owners, Boleden, say they're not able to say when the mine will resume operations. Well, staying with that story, we're joined from outside Tara Mines by Paula McCall, Chief Executive with Meath Chamber of Commerce. Good evening, uh, Paula McCall, and thanks indeed for joining us. Um, this news yesterday seemed to have come completely out of the blue. It was a complete shock uh, to everyone, particularly the workers. Absolutely, David. This is a seismic event for County Meath. Um, yesterday's announcement came as a, as a shock, as you say, and sent shockwaves through the county and the wider region. Um, Tar Mines is, I suppose, it's the pride of County Meath. It's a, an inter cross-generational institution which is intertwined in community and very much loved and respected. Um, so, yeah, you're right. I, the uh, people I've spoken to, everyone on the streets since yesterday, since the announcement, have their own Tara Mine stories. And your your the the, the uh, overriding emotion, I suppose, is worry um, and uncertainty as to what the future might bring. Uh, and obviously, there's 650 uh, jobs directly in, in Tara Mines, and, and uh, I think people have said that they're good jobs, they're, they're well paid, and, and so on. But there's also jobs indirectly depending on on the work that goes on there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, uh, naturally, our concern at this point are, are with the, the emotional and the financial implications of the families directly involved, and but also the anxiety that a, an announcement, a shock announcement like this can have on everyone. Um, from an, an economics perspective and in terms of the ripple effect, uh, tar mines plays a major role in the economy of Meath, and, um, and this job or uh, temporary closure will affect hundreds of businesses who rely heavily on tower mines for business, uh, be that mechanical, electrical, catering, communications, etc. But right into the towns and villages on the high streets and the main streets where the hospitality and retail sector rely heavily on local spend. Um, from our perspective as a chamber, we're acutely aware of that impact on our members and we would like to assure them that our chamber doors are open and that we're here to do anything we can to help and support your in this difficult time. Now, politicians, local politicians and the government indeed have been uh, promising help and support in, in, in as much as they can provide that. Is there anything practical that from your point of view you'd like to see them doing? Um, well, I'm assured that all the interdepartmental committees and agencies are already looking at immediate uh, rollouts for support for Tower Mines and its employees. I know I've had a couple of calls today from our members who, with specific queries and I've been thankfully able to gather the information to, to connect with the relevant agency and to garner a response. So communication is key at this point. Um, other than that, I, I believe that uh, the tower mine situation was discussed in the Dáil and, um, and I have no doubt that work will continue in the background um, over the coming days and weeks. And as I say, if there's any part that we can play in that, we certainly will. Um, those lines of communication are certainly open. OK, Paul McCall, Chief Executive with me, the Chamber of Commerce. Hopefully better news from tower mines uh, to come in the coming days. But thank you for joining us on 6-1.